welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make what is arguably one of the greatest sandwiches in the world. Yes, I said it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there are actually better sandwiches than the old plain old slapping something in between two pieces of bread that we do every day at lunch. So today I'm going to make a banh mi. The banh mi is a Vietnamese sandwich which was created during the French occupation of Vietnam because the French are bread eaters and the Vietnamese were rice eaters. So when the French arrived, they decided that these, they had to have their baguettes. And of course, they made the baguettes and anything made with flour, which was imported, off limits to some degree. So it became the forbidden fruit and the Vietnamese people who were of course doing the baking, working in the bakeries, developed their own special bread, actually a very crispy crust uh, baguette, and they also started filling it with their own flavors, creating this incredible hybrid of this fabulous bread and the flavors of Vietnamese food, which are so fresh and lovely and spicy and sweet and sour. So I'm gonna make a vegetarian one. So to get started, I'm gonna first make our pickled filling. So I've got some carrots shredded, and I just wanted to show you, this is a daikon. It's a smallish one, a daikon radish. This is the traditional pickle, quick pickle that we put in there. So for fun, I thought it'd be fun to do a purple daikon mixed in with the white daikon. This guy has all kinds of beautiful purple pigment as well. A little bit of that, and we've got our quick pickle ingredients, and I'm just going to stir sugar and the recipe will be on in the comments and also up on my blog at robinasbill.com and this is based on a recipe that i did for a book i just love the new vegetarian so i hope you'll check that one out online it's out of print but it's still delicious so we're just gonna let this sit for a little bit and just do a quick stir fry of the filling and I'll get that going. I've got some shallots. And ginger. And a kind of copious amount of garlic. And I'll let that get started. And while that heats up, I'm going to show you my baguette. So here is this fabulous baguette. Now this is not like the traditional French baguette that is used in Vietnam. This is an incredible Falone from the Bakersfield Flour and Bread Company. And so here in Minneapolis, we get this incredible bread. And I like a little bread with a little bit of heft and look at those incredible bubbles. So, so I'm gonna put this, I've got my aquafaba mayo, which I made in another episode. And I'm just gonna slather that on there. And I have my broiler heating up. So you just put your mayonnaise and this is, again, aioli, so we're doing super garlicky. And I'm going to have this ready to go in the broiler as soon as my filling is done. It just takes a sec, as you may know. Don't put anything in the broiler until you're ready. Get my shallots 
and garlic and ginger cooking. And I have some five spice. Five spice is really fun in this. It kind of makes it a little different than some of the other ones. And the thing about banh mi is banh mi just literally means bread in the Vietnamese language. But colloquially, it has become this sandwich, which is the only way that we eat Vietnamese bread. So it's just gonna, oh, if only you could smell this, smell vision. And I'm throwing in a little sugar and some soy sauce. And it's really just that simple because the seitan is already cooked and already ready to go. So I'm going to put the bread under the broiler. You want to keep an eye on your bread in the broiler and your seitan in the pan. But this, I can see this is just the best in the, in the summertime because we can thoroughly enjoy this in the heat. Now, most of the time when I've bought a banh mi on the street, it's just cold. It's usually just wrapped up in a little paper wrap. And I guess I have just this profound emotional connection to it because it's usually something where I've gotten off the train or I'm somewhere where I didn't, I'm starving and I come around a corner and I say, oh my gosh, there is a banh mi stand. <laughs> and I am so happy to find, and they'll have like some tofu banh mi and it's just the greatest to be able to get this sandwich, which is deceptively simple because of all the cool ingredients in it. So, very quickly, that broiler went to town. My bread is nice and hot. And I've got some cilantro. I'm going to just pull a few sprigs, a few leaves of cilantro to throw on there. And so here goes my banh mi sandwich. I'm going to put that hot bread, crackling bread, right there on my cutting board. Got a little brown there. Put some seitan right on that hot toasted bread. Look at that. Oh. And then into onto that, I'm just gonna put some of my drained quick pickled daikon and carrot. Now, usually when I go into a Vietnamese restaurant and they've got a banh mi, they're gonna give you thinly sliced serranos, which are very hot. I'm just gonna use these jalapenos because they're easy to find. And then I'm just putting some cilantro leaves on there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that beautiful sandwich. It's almost a shame to close the lid and then I'm going to cut it into pieces. Depending on, you can just craft this to fit whatever baguette you've got, the best baguette you can get. And so here we have it, just minutes it took to put together this beautiful sandwich, the banh mi one of the great sandwiches in the world. I'm gonna take a little bite. Mm, 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 mm. 
It has everything. It has the chewy, savory seitan, the pickled vegetables, a little sweet, a little salty, a little spice. And of course, I've got some sriracha, if you want to put a little of that on there. But with this, the uh, jalapenos, I think we're good. So I hope that you will go ahead and give a try to this fantastic banh mi. It's very easy. It's the best little sandwich to make in the summertime for a very delicious meal. A little quick salad on the side and you're good to go. So thank you again for coming to my kitchen and enjoying some plant-based food and the flavors of all kinds of cultural, cultural blending in the shape of one delicious